Hello, good evening, everyone. One of the very, very important topic of um, your CUET entrance exam is assertion and reasoning. And, uh, you know, most of you make some mistake or the other in these kind of questions. So um, on the request of uh, many of you that I have received uh, among my students, I have gone ahead and made this question bank on all possible assertion and reasoning questions. So if you will look through it, there are multiple questions that I have tried to add under this uh, question bank of assertion and reasoning. And this is going to give you a proper understanding of how to attempt these kind of questions. Today, I will take some examples of these assertion and reasoning questions with you to help you explain what goes wrong, kya galat karte ho, and how to go ahead and solve these kind of questions. Okay, beta, let us go ahead and have a look at the examples that I've prepared specially for this session. Assertion. India became an exporter of primary products and an importer of finished consumer and capital goods produced in India. So, first of all, assertion is always a statement. Samjho thoda sa. Assertion is a statement. The reason is the reason of this statement, which actually may or may not be the true reason. So, in these kind of questions, in assertion and reason question, what we have to do? We have to go ahead. And we have to try to read these statements separately first. So read each statement separately. Try to see if they are true or false. Pahli cheez ye dekhni hai. Ki kya ye statement true hai ya false hai? So try to see if these statements are true or false. That's the first thing. The second thing that you will do is then see if this is the reason for this or not. And kaise dekhe ki reason hai ya nahi hai bhai? Aise to samaj nahi aara. So try to fill this gap with a with a word called because. Yahan pe because laga do. इस पूरे को एक साथ as a paragraph read करने की कोशिश करो. Read this as a paragraph after putting this because. If you are able to read it as a paragraph with because, because is making sense in this sentence, then beta it is correct. But if you are not able to make sense, but these two statements are true, then you will go with the second option or the third option and so on. Ab ek bari dhyan se samajte. So what did I explain you? First, try to evaluate each sentence separately. So evaluate sab se pehle. Each sentence separately. Kya reason assertion ka sahi reason hai ya nahi hai? Wo baad mein. That we will see later. First, evaluate each sentence separately. India became exporter of primary good, importer of finished good. Correct. Hai. India, during the British rule, India was only allowed to export the primary goods. So in one of my questions yesterday, uh, you know, in one of the question banks, I talked about cash crops, about commercialization of agriculture. Iske baat kiya na humne? So when I say cash crops or commercialization of agriculture, it means that you're only going ahead and exporting this. So this is a true statement. Pahli statement to true ho gai hai. So we can say that the first statement is true. Then evaluate the second sentence separately. So if I look at the second sentence, 
it says restrictive policies of commodity production trade and tariff pursued by colonial government adversely affected structure composition volume of india's foreign trade now better the point here is that this statement is false it did not affect the structure composition of india's foreign trade india was always dealing in the primary sector right so it is not the restrictive policies of commodity com uh, commodity production that affected it so ye statement is false ho gayi so we know that the first statement is true and second is false so i will not go any further i will stop here after evaluating the two statements i will stop let's take one more example and let's try to see if we understand it so iska answer ho gaya statement one is true but r is false let's take another question assertion during colonial period india's export trade was export surplus try to look at the two um, statements individually during colonial period india's export were more than import now the question is first we have to go ahead and ask ourselves did we have so again that is what i'm saying evaluate the two sentences separately so first of all you have to ask yourself that during colonial period did india's export exceeded import or not right was india's expo did india have export surplus or not right that's the first thing that you have to do so foreign trade ye bahut hi bahut hi um, it, it's ironic that foreign trade of india during the colonial period generated surplus export because it was doing ex excess exports theek hai but this export did not flow in india in the form of any silver or gold rather this surplus was utilized to make payments right to make payments to the britishers to fulfill the cost of britishers but india had export surplus ye bahut ko you know bahut log isi ko false bol denge but india actually had an export surplus so this statement beta is true now come to the next next statement individually during colonial period india's export were more than import ye bhi sahi baat hai now let us go ahead and fill in the blank so let us just go ahead and put a because in between yahan par so here i will write because and now try to read this statement completely during colonial period india's export trade was export surplus because during colonial period export were more than import ye pura sentence saath mein ekdam theek hai ki kyun tha export surplus why did we have an export surplus because exports were more than imports that is why we had an export surplus so beta because is making correct sense in this sentence is it that is what we are going to go ahead and answer that is what we are answering right so now here is the thing when you go ahead and you look in india you are correct in saying the first sentence and the second sentence that exports were more than imports and india had an export surplus but you have to also go ahead and understand that during this period india did not benefit from large export surplus why because as we have read there was a drain of india wealth so all of the wealth of india that was there it was not going ahead and it was not affecting india positively why 
बिकॉज देर वॉज अ ड्रेन ऑफ वेल्थ ऑफ इंडिया ये सारा पॉइंट वी हैव टू रिमेंबर राइट सो सो प्लीज राइट डाउन दिस विल हेल्प यू इन द एग्जाम ऑल्सो दैट सिंस ऑल द सरप्लस वॉज एक्सपोर्टेड there was scarcity of the products in indian market itself in indian market the gain from export were used to meet the cost of british office so india ko apne hi export surplus se koi benefit nahi ho raha tha india wasn't getting benefited through the export surplus there was a drain of wealth all the wealth of india was going outside the country it was going to the britishers and actually kya ho raha tha kyunki wo sara india ka jo bhi product tha they were sending outside nothing was left for india itself so there was a scarcity of products in the indian market these are the important points which we can go ahead and write related to this question right now during colonial period exports were more than imports is a correct statement export trade was export surplus is a correct statement and actually because is making sense so i will go with a that both a and r are true and r is the correct explanation of a okay come to the next statement india's economy was source of raw material for british industry again evaluate the statements individually india's economy was a source of raw material for british industries this is true during colonial period raw material were exported from india to britain to be used in the industry now if i think about um, the raw materials then during the colonial period all the raw material see if you if you read more about it you will understand that during colonial period india was not allowed to make finished products india was only allowed to make the raw materials to make the primary products finished products were not uh, you know uh, 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 were not gone ahead and produced within india and the raw materials were actually exported to the to the other countries to britain so that it can be used in britain for their final uh, industry for their finished products so actually speaking during colonial period the raw materials were exported from india to britain to be used in their country that is a correct statement i don't know i think so some issue with the answer that's a correct statement this is a true statement right this is true that the raw material were going from india to britain and the first statement is also true that indian economy was the source of raw material for the british industry now what we have to go ahead and do is the following beta we should go ahead and apply a because here and we should again try this question so india economy was source of raw material for british india because during colonial period raw material were exported from india to britain to be used in the industry so so is this reason making sense or not is this the reason why raw material was being exported nahi we know india was source of raw material we know raw material was being exported but the reason why india was source of raw material was that this raw material was cheaper in india that's the reason why they were going ahead and making india the supplier of the raw material 
So both sentences actually are synonymous to each other. They are the same only. So both sentences individually, they are true. Both sentences are individually true. But second is not the reason of A. That the reason why India was the source of raw material was because the raw material was cheaper in India. Not because, you know, this. This is the same sentence as A. There is no difference. So A and B both are true. I think so. the, the color highlight is some, something went wrong. A and R both are true. But R is not the correct explanation of A. Right? So what is the correct explanation? What is the, what is the motive? Why they went ahead and they made India the supplier of raw material? You can write this down. That the main motive... of British government was to make India a supplier of raw material was one because it wanted to flourish its own industrial base. And second, I'm just writing in my language, okay? And second, it wanted India to be mere supplier of cheap raw material. Are you getting it? So that's the reason why it happened. So this is what the question is asking. So you have to read some statements individually and then try to do it. Okay, let's take some questions from uh, the macroeconomics part now and let us see if we are able to uh, if we are able to make some sense out of the macroeconomic questions okay so in an economy the if the consumption expenditure is high investment multiplier will be below the velocity of which money changes hands determines the growth of an economy so these are two statements that are given to you. As I told you, the first thing that you should be doing is to evaluate the statements individually. So if consumption expenditure is high, investment multiplier must be, this is must be low. Is it the case? No, this is a false statement. Because better, what is, what is investment multiplier? Does it matter? what your consumption expenditure is. So when I write Y is equal to C plus I, right? And when I go ahead and write this, C bar plus C Y plus I. So one minus C Y is equal to C bar plus I. So change in Y by change in I is one by MPS. This is my investment multiplier, right? And does it matter with what my consumption expenditure is? No, right? So if consumption expenditure is high, investment multiplier will be low is a false statement. So the first statement is false. Now you have to go ahead and evaluate the second statement. The velocity by which money changes hand determines the growth of the economy. So again, we know that mv is equal to py this is the quantity theory of money so if i bring gm plus gv is equal to gp plus gy so beta if i were to evaluate that the growth of economy can be measured by real gdp then in that case, this is growth of the real GDP. Matlab, yehi growth of economy ho gaya. And this is affected by velocity. This is one factor that affects this. So this is a true statement. So we can say that assertion is false, but reason is true. Let us take one more question. Assertion. Okay, beta, let's come to the next question. Next question says, a country always tries to balance balance of payment uh, that is BOP in the current account equals BOP in the capital account. Look at, at 
it at as an individual statement. So if I look it at it as an individual statement, it is basically saying that this is true. Balance of payment ke definition diye that there should be balance in current account equal to balance in the capital account. Okay, that's fine. You that is how you try to balance out. Okay. Balance BOP indicates stable economic relation with the rest of the world. If you have a balanced balance of payment, then it means that you have stability with the rest of the world. Now, better let us go ahead and try to put a because in between. Because. Now let us try to see this. A country always tries to balance the BOP because BOP indicates stable economic relation with the rest of the world. Yes. Correct. So which means both assertion and reason are true and reason is the correct explanation of the assertion. So this is how you should be trying to attempt this kind of question. So you will write this down. A country. Beta, ye bohat often aate Always tries to balance BOP because BOP indicates, balanced BOP indicates stable economic relation. So, agar many is because ke saath ek saath sentence likha, if it is making sense, answer will be yes. This is the correct thing. Am I okay? Am I making sense? So, better these were few more questions that I wanted to show you from the macroeconomic side. Aise hi, I've tried to add few from the microeconomic side also. Just go through them, okay? So, let me just take one or two questions for you. Okay. Production possibility curve is concave shaped. Look at it as an individual statement. Is this true? It is true. PP, PPF is like Right. Production possibility frontier shows all the maximum possible combination of the true goods. Huh? Yes. When, when you are on the PPC, then that's the maximum you can produce. But if this, but because if I put a because in between, then can I say that it is concave shape because you are producing maximum? No, no, no. It is concave shape because of the concept of opportunity cost. That as you keep on producing more of that commodity, its opportunity cost is increasing. Right? So no, the reason is not correct. Dono statement apne aap mein correct hai. But the reason is not correct. Reason for concave shaped is actually increasing opportunity cost. So then you will say that, okay, both assertion and reason are true, but reason is not the correct explanation of A. Right? So these are few examples that I wanted to share with you on assertion and reasoning. Best of luck, beta, for your exam. Thank you.